Hi everyone, this is Jeff Key, Network Engagement Associate for YNPN National. And in this video, I'm going to be providing you with an overview of the goals feature uh, within Nation Builder. So from this first screen, you can see that I'm signed into the Nation Builder control panel. And by default, you're usually taken to the dashboard screen. And what you see here is a message displaying that uh, in my control panel, I currently don't have any goals in progress. And I can either learn more about setting goals or choose to create a new goal. That option is also available here in the menu in your dashboard screen. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that to add a new goal. And you'll see the screen that pops up gives me a couple options. So first, I'm prompted to create a name for my new goal. So as an example, I'm going to go ahead and create a goal for membership signup, which is a pretty common thing that a lot of YNPN chapters uh, prioritize and would like to track. Underneath that, you'll see a wide variety of options that you're able to select for the type of goal. Um, so for this particular example, I'm going to select members because I do want to track the number of existing and new members for my chapter. And then at the bottom, I'm able to enter in some more specific information on settings for my goal. So I'm going to go ahead and enter a goal of 20 members. I'm going to leave the start date as May 25th. And I'm going to set the end date for my goal or when I want to achieve my target for three months later at August 25th. So if I go ahead and click this button to create the goal, Nation Builder is going to take me back to the dashboard page, but now instead of having a, a blank area here, you can see that it's added in my new goal for membership signup. It has information listed below about the dates um, that this goal is going to begin and my end target date of August 25th. Right now, it's still setting up and gathering data, uh, but eventually there would be a progress bar that's available here. So as people sign up for new memberships on my Nation Builder site, this progress bar will start to fill. Uh, so one of the reasons why goals are so useful is that you can set up four, five, six goals for really key things that you want to track. And that way, anytime uh, any administrative user signs into your Nation Builder control panel, this will be the first screen that they see. And they can very quickly uh, gauge progress on key projects, key things that your chapter is looking to track. Um, and that can allow your board to have some really great discussions that are based on data um, and may help you uh, plan strategy around upcoming programming or adjustments or additional outreach that you need to engage in uh, to make sure that you're uh, one meeting your goals but that you're staying on target um, to reach them uh, by the uh, the date that you may have set so one other thing that is really useful about goals is there is this option over on the side this little down arrow at any point you can choose the edit goal option and what that will do is pull up some more detailed information about each goal so here uh, you can see that there is a chart here that's going to give me an overall trend um, so you know i can track progress on this goal by date as these dates are hit Nation Builder will be recording how many uh, new members we've uh, had sign up. This progress board will fill. Um, and you can also track uh, with goals who among your board or members um, is really uh, driving forward results um, in terms of recruiting new members or getting RSVPs out to events. So I'm going to jump back to the initial dashboard where all the goals are displayed um, but again this is just one uh, option that you can pick among many others um, we'll be making some additional videos with uh, some advanced uh, tutorials and information about setting up goals and tracking them to make sure that your chapter is making data-driven decisions